Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lena Simpsi, this time with a Warframe video. Now, in this Warframe video, I'll be talking about the changes that will be coming to Warframe in the next few months uh, regarding the balance between melee and guns. Now, this was uh, first presented because of everyone using the melee weapon on Steel Path because they are the most powerful ones. Now, there will be a lot of changes coming. The most pervasive one will be for the Kuva Nuker, which I don't really use that much, but it will come because of the over excessive use that this weapon has right now because it can stat procs really fast. People use it a lot of times. So, of course, it's like one of the main weapons used in the game, so it will be nerfed in order to rebalance it with all the others. I don't use it that much. I know it's very good, but I don't use it, so it doesn't really affect me. The other ones might affect me a little bit more. They are nerfs to the mods uh, like Blood Rush, Berserk, and Condition Overall. Now, Blood Rush will have a minus crit chance to stack. Berserk will be slower, and Conditional Overload will do an overall less damage than it does. Now, it, I don't think this is going to affect a lot of the gameplay. You know, your mods your mods, and your builds will still be the same, and they'll still work, but they will just not perform as effectively as before. That said, guns will also have some improvements. They will have nine new mods called Galvanized mods. At the mock-up they did, they look exactly like the regular mods, but they will do more damage for each kill that you do. The biggest disappointment I see with these mods is that they take up to level 14, so you will take, you know, you'll have to put a lot of form in your weapons to make this workable on your setups so the grind for get them and endo will be a lot i mean steel essence will get buffed instead for the daily missions instead of giving you three they will give you five i think and the drops from the lights will also be more and the acolytes will show up more for you to have this steel ends now the bad part is the tension will not have the new arcanes the new arcanes will be farmable only in the acolytes the arcades themselves do look pretty cool some really increase the damage but again, you will have to grind for these arcanes because they only drop acolytes. My views on this are kind of, I don't know, distant because I feel this is just done because of Steel Path. And it's a mode that I, I don't play. I find it boring to do the same thing over and over again. Just, you know, repeat the entire star shot just with higher enemies. I mean, if they provided some kind of a... I don't know, a, a new enemy to fight or the enemies would be different, even aesthetically different and the sets will be aesthetically I mean, even a different splash of color will be something, but just playing the game over again, I mean, I find it really really boring, so I, I don't think the changes really apply to me I don't think they will change anything in my gameplay style I will not be grinding just because of this but, you know, if I end up doing Steel Path for uh, any reason I think it'll be good Furthermore, if they really want to make weapons stronger or at least on par with melee i would suggest they would maybe remove the excellent slot and give us you know a proper slot or even two proper slots i feel that will be a much easier way you know just to increase the power of weapons than you know creating all these new systems that you have to grind for just just get it now talking about the helmet system the helmet system will have something called invigorations which I don't know why it reminds me a lot of Viagra, <laughs> but it, that's what it is. For one week, you will have three Warframes that you can buff to get better stats. I don't know if the buffs will be to stats or to the abilities themselves, but they will be stronger. I think it'll be something like what we see in Arbitration. So they're kind of expanding the entire system of arbitration to the entire game. You'll get three. You can choose, I think, only one, and you can buff it to use it. I believe they said it's more the older frames that will be there, so they, so you can use it. I mean, I see this like a a, a skew. Uh, solution to reworks instead of reworking every warframe to be good because we have uh, like 40 plus warframes instead of reworking everyone to keep it balanced they decide to give it this one for all that oh no this frame will be strong enough and maybe people will use them i don't know i don't know if this will work first of all i wouldn't even know how, what resources this will use for the helmet system and second of all if it's just for invigorations this could be done in any npc i mean really npc even nora or palomino could do it they could just go there and say, okay, this, the, these are the Warframes that are buffed this week, use them, enjoy. Uh, they did it on the Alma system, so I'm pretty sure they will use resources, I, I don't know how many. And also they said, after 10 invigorations, you can invigorate a Warframe of your choosing, but for a week. 
And, you know, 10 weeks is like three months. Are you going to really wait three months to get a Warframe that you have to use for a week? I mean, if it was a permanent invigoration, that that probably worked for it. But this being just, you know, one of those things that is for you to use your old frames or your more frames than you currently do. Again, it's another change that probably won't be useful for me. Most of my Warframes, even the, the most recent ones, are still in the Forge. I don't need to use them. I don't need to use them just for any particular mission. I don't need to use them for Steel Path. I can do it out with, uh, I don't know, 20 or 10 that I have. So, you know, just doing the grind for the grind or doing the system for the system, it's really not appealing to me. What would be appealing to me if, if the helmet system provided some kind of boost stat for a particular Warframe. Imagine you have Rhino and you want to buff, say, his ability is, is one of his abilities, for instance, is, is Iron Skin, and you can buff that, or maybe you can buff the stat uh, on the, each Warframe. For instance, you can open up a slot for strength and you have 10 levels, and for each level you get stronger. I would think that I would spend more time and resources on buffing that for each particular Warframe that I use than, you know, oh, just use this random one, Banshee or whatever, because it's got a buff the, this week. I don't know, I don't feel that works. Lastly, and I saved the best for last, is the changes to Parazon. Now, Parazon right now is just a weapon to kill leeches. That's the only purpose it's in the game. I mean, it is an animation for hacking system, but we had hacking before and we didn't need the Parazon. So, you know, you're probably using 80% or 90% to do hacking and then, you know, 5 to 10% just to kill leeches. So, what they're going to change in Parazon? Well, they're going to change the Mercy kills. I'll be honest, I went back to playing the game because I wanted to get footage for this video and I did like two Mercy kills. Mercy kills are really hard to get. So they are going to improve the way you get Mercy kills. So instead of getting a Mercy kill when the health of the enemy is at 25 on all enemies, you only get that Mercy kill on hardened enemies, you know, like heavy gunners and, and bombards and stuff like that. That's a cool change. They're also going to change it so that uh, it triggers at 40% and then under certain circumstances like using impact it triggers at health bar at 80% that is cool because I think it's a buff to impact not because it's a buff to mercy kills because let's be honest mercy kills are hard to get because they appear far away you know use your ability or use your weapons and they appear far away and you have to move there wait for the prompt to appear because it's not automatic you can be in front of it and just hit it you have to wait for the prompt activate the prompt and it happens and it happens one and then you have to do maybe if it gets another one and it's a very anti-warframe kind of play style because you know you want to be fast you want to be fast. i mean if i can do the mercy kill while i was sliding or when i was gliding and as soon as i came close to it i would activate it that would be a little more interesting to me and also a lot easier to use also it would be nice if you could you know, uh, chain a bunch of mercy kills. I'm thinking about Metal Gear Solid CQC. If you ever played that, uh, the Metal Gear Solid and you perform CQC, you could perform like three in a row and you did like this John Wick animation and that was really, really cool. I don't know how, the, how that would work on Warframe. I don't know how I could implement it because it's really tricky and complicated. And right now the animations for mercy kills are many times, you know, you perform the animation and the enemy is like 20 feet away or 10 feet away or five feet away. So it is always other problems. I guess they're trying to make it relevant in the game, but to me, the Parazon really doesn't... I mean, it hasn't really earned its space in Warframe right now. I suggested them that they could do it like it was a hacking tool on the ships, and you had to open like different gates or activate different things with the Parazon to then get the Kuva Lich kill. You know, it could still work with the Parazon mods and everything, but right now they're just trying to make it more fun to use, but it's not streamlining, so yeah. I don't think these changes are really super effective for Warframe. So my final thoughts on all these changes is that they're not going to really change my playstyle. They will not me make me want to, you know, jump in the game again just for grind for more mods or for more arcanes. It's more like little tweaks, especially for those who play Steel Path. For those players, for hardcore players who play Steel Path, they want to complete Steel Path. It might be a change, a big change for them. But for me particularly, it doesn't. It doesn't bring... I'm just, you know, playing Warframe to get the weapons, let the primes, get the Warframes, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and as always, have a great game, guys.